A small Andale farmer says outside pesticides are killing off his summer crops. He blames the larger farm next door. New at 10, Cakes Madeline Anderson explains what's going on. Madeline? Delmar Quinby says he plants a two acre garden around this time every year, and every year he says weed killers end up killing his fruits and vegetables as well. Cantaloupes, watermelon, tomatoes, corn, and pumpkins will soon be ripe for picking in Delmar Quinby's garden. I eat some of it, but most of it I give away. The 76 year old retired farmer now plants for fun, but he worries his hard work will be ruined before he's able to enjoy it. Year before last, I had watermelons. About this size, and they sprayed, and that's as big as they got. The vine died, and the melon, probably 400 of them just wasted. Several times each summer, the farmers next door sprayed weed killer on their 116 acres of crops. Okay. Because of the strong Kansas winds out of the south, Quinby says the spray also ends up in his yard. And some of the spray they use, is one of them is 24D, and it it just wipes out any any tender garden stuff. Despite his pleas for them to stop, Quinby says the problem has persisted for five years. So you just feel helpless. Rob Meyer farms the neighboring land. He explained off camera the Andel Farmers Co-op operates the field sprayers for him. Meyer says he usually tries to accommodate Quimby when he puts in his spray date requests, but he says it's out of his control when the co-op actually comes to do the work. Quinby says all he's asking is for them to wait to spray until the wind is out of the north. No resentments and just want to be left alone. And Quinby says he usually gives away those vegetables and fruits to the neighborhood kids.